Hi everyone, in this video I am going to demonstrate the process of Picqueo to pay cycle on SAP ERP. So let's continue. Now we create the purchase requisition for 5 pieces of laptop. Enter T code ME51N. Select the document type for purchase requisition local material. Expand this item overview. Now enter material number over here. Enter quantity, which in our case is five pieces. Now enter the plant one thousand storage location AS double zero main store. Requested by requested by is the concerned department which required that material, which in our case is IT department. Now press enter. Now press this check button in order to check in case if there is any error. Now press this save button and your purchase requisition is created. After the creation of purchase requisition, the procurement department will convert this purchase requisition raised by the IT department into the purchase order. The T code for the purchase order creation is ME21N. Turn on the document overview. Now press the select variant button and choose the option my purchase requisition. Here you can able to see all the purchase requisition. Now select the requisition which was made earlier by us. Drag and drop this to this bucket. Now almost all the data we have given in the purchase requisition has been picked by the purchase order. Here you need to enter the purchase or organization which is responsible for procuring this material. In our case, the purchase requisition is local department. Enter the vendor. Now procurement department will finalize the vendor and enter it into the purchase order. Enter the payment term payable immediately. Press this item over view button. Check all the relevant data which we have entered before. Now press this check icon in order to check in case if there is any error message. So there are two warning messages. Ignore these messages and save. Now your purchase order is created. Enter T good M I G O Migo to record good receipt. Now select purchase order over here and good receipt over here. Now enter your purchase order number. Press enter. Now the data from the purchase order has been picked up over here. Laptops, five pieces, storage location, main store. The movement type for this good receipt is 101, which is used to record good receipt. Now, what we have to do over here, we have to only select this OK, press check in order to check in case if there is any error message okay there is a message over here document is okay now post okay now material document has been posted in order to view this good receipt again the against this purchase order you have to go to t code me 23 n now go to the purchase order history tab 
here you can see that there is a one material movement document coming now double click this which is our document double click this document you can go to that material movement document which we have created now go to the uh, document info tab and press this fi document button in order to view the accounting entry select the accounting document now you can see the accounting entry generated when we perform the good receipt first we book the invoice receipt enter t code m i r o miro now when here enter your purchase order number press enter now enter the invoice date 15.04.2019 now all the data from the purchase order has been picked up verify all the data the amount is 250000 the quantity is 5 pieces and the material is laptop here you can see that there is a 250000 credit balance this must be zero when will it get zero when we put the same amount over here which is a debit amount press enter okay now your balance become zero check mark this line item and simulate press enter to ignore this text message now here you can see that this is an accounting entry simulation which is GRIR account which is previously when we performed the MIGO was credited with the same amount 250,000 will be debited in this transaction and the vendor paper is credited now press post in order to post this entry and save this transaction your invoice document number is created now in order to check this entry in financial accounting we will run a t code fbl 1n which is for vendor payables enter your work vendor account number enter today's date open item press now here you can see that there are three entry coming in the screen this is the document which is generated this is the accounting document double click this in order to view the accounting entry now you can see this accounting entry vendor is credit and GRIR is debit now we will perform the pay bank payment against this invoice receipt enter t code f-53 in order to record payment document date now enter account number your bank account number in bank data tab now enter the amount value date your, your value date is the date at which your check will be cashed now your account number this account number is vendor account number your account type for vendor is k enter your vendor account number now press process open item button here you can see that all the items over here these are all the vendor open items so deselect the remaining two by double clicking now the last item to like 50,000 is highlighted in blue it's, as uh, it was selected you can check over here the balance should be zero your assign amount is 2 lakh 50,000 amount enter at the initial screen is same as the assign amount 2 lakh 50,000 your balance is zero it now simulate this entry document simulate this is the accounting entry generated your vendor is debited 
and your bank outgoing is credit now save this is the accounting document number generated you can check this accounting number through t code fbl 1n now the item we will check the same item open item execute there is no open item for 250000 which was showing previously now go back and check this into clear item and execute now you can see that the this was the document re which was created previously highlighted with the red icon was now highlighted in green it means it was cleared and the clearing document number is 150013 which is the document number for payment document thank you for watching the video hope you found this knowledgeable and useful please don't forget to like subscribe and share this video